The seventh summit of the Community of Latin American and Caribbean States, CELAC, was held on January 24th in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The summit saw the participation of the majority of the newly elected progressive leaders of the region. The summit also marked the return of Brazil to CELAC after three years, as well as of President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, who played an important role in the creation of the body. Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro was set to travel to the summit, but amid threats by far-right leaders in Argentina, he was forced to cancel his participation. All 33 countries in Latin America and the Caribbean are part of CELAC. It was founded by late Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez in 2011 in Caracas, Venezuela. The objective of CELAC is to promote regional unity and peace, political cooperation, and socioeconomic development of all member countries. This year's summit provided an opportunity to consolidate multilateral relations among the regional countries when the United States continues to attack progressive governments in the region. El poder radica en nuestra gente y en nuestros pueblos. Yo misma soy la expresión de 12 años de resistencia en las calles. Soy la primera mujer presidenta en la historia del pueblo hondureño. He recibido un país en ruinas, sumido en la pobreza, narcotráfico, y violencia. La reconstrucción de Honduras está en marcha. The coup in Peru and the heavy violence inflicted on protesters by security forces was also widely denounced. Condenamos el golpe de estado en Perú y la agresión a la que está sometido el pueblo peruano. Nuestra solidaridad con el presidente legítimo electo Pedro Castillo y demandamos su inmediata liberación. Hay mucho por hacer. Debemos continuar sin descanso buscando el camino de la unidad democrática y socialista. Following the U.S.-backed civic military coup in Bolivia in 2019, the legislative coup in Peru in 2022, and the attempted coup in Brazil in early January, Several leaders have been looking to substitute the U.S.-backed OAS with CELAC as the primary regional integration organization. Nos une y convoca la indispensable integración latinoamericana y caribeña en este mecanismo diverso e inclusivo sustentado en una profunda vocación de independencia. En Washington persiste el empeño de dividirnos, estigmatizarnos y subordinarnos a sus intereses a casi 200 años de promulgarse la doctrina Monroy. Con los sobrados argumentos que nos ofrece la historia, digo igualmente que no reconocemos ni reconoceremos autoridad alguna a la OEA, que es la organización que al servicio de Estados Unidos apoyó y apoya intervenciones militares, golpes de Estado y la injerencia de América Latina y del Caribe contra gobiernos populares y legítimos. La OEA es la organización que no hizo nada contra los asesinatos, las torturas, las desapariciones forzosas y la persecución de líderes sociales progresistas y de izquierdas de la región que permanecerán por siempre en nuestra memoria. Cuba ha ratificado reiteradamente, pero no sobra decirlo hoy, el apoyo y la más firme solidaridad con los legítimos gobiernos de Venezuela, Nicaragua y Bolivia sometidos a persistentes intentos de desestabilización. In the meeting, the leaders discussed how to consolidate peace and democracy in the region, expressing their condemnation of all forms of anti-democratic extremism and political violence. They also discussed regional strategies to address issues such as hunger, poverty, health, education, sustainable development, climate change, among others. On Monday, January 23rd, a day before the CELAC summit, about 300 leaders of social and people's movements from across the region held a summit of regional social movements in Buenos Aires. The purpose of the meeting was to devise strategies to strengthen integration of regional organizations and unions to confront imperialism and promote sovereignty of peoples. They also discussed issues such as the fight against the extreme right in different countries, 
and the U.S. blockade of the countries of the region resulting in hunger and inequalities. On Tuesday, movements took to the streets with their messages of international solidarity and anti-imperialism. They ended the day with an event in support of the Bolivarian Revolution and the people and government of Venezuela.